day before yesterday we uh, were uh, discussing the preprocessor directives uh, in the actually this week we have been discussing the preprocessor directive and uh, we have seen macro and macro expansion then uh, program life cycle at the same time we have seen parameterized macro if you can recall so this much we have covered a program life cycle a various system software how actually they come into the picture during the life cycle of the program then um, we are discussing this basically so a file inclusion we are discussing and at the same time multiple uh, how program can be you no know, uh, splitted the c program can be splitted into multiple files that we are going to see today this we have seen already macro versus function dif uh, differences we have seen uh, use of macro we have seen file inclusion we are here right so uh, many times uh, they are students uh, are asked during the yvr even interview basically what is the difference between that hash include file name enclose within a pair of uh, Uh, less than and greater than sign and uh, what if that file name is included between a pair of double quotes i will i will explain you in detail and then we will use that while developing a multi file program in c language in the code block uh, each id has got the same format there is uh, i mean so you use any uh, this thing any id doesn't make any difference so i am going to create a new project carefully observe all operations so i will show you i have stored this your i have created this project in the pre processor in the c drive there is a folder c batch evening there is one sub folder called c programs there are folders on the basis of chapters we have been discussing there is a pre processor directive and there is a folder demo file inclusion right so you will find this this is a project file and this is a main.c so this is a current directory right this is a current directory this whole path sorry this is the whole path of current directory when you when you write the program in the code block this is called the current directory right students are not aware about current directory many times now whether this file is there studio.h no it is not there it is not there it is where the code block and that compiler has been installed so that path is available in the compiler settings when we you install the code block so we are telling the preprocessor search the file in this current directory as well as specified list of directories in the compiler settings so there is a uh, include folder in that include folder some bin folder is there and lib folder is there inside that lib that studio.h is there and that set that whole path is there in the compiler settings that's why it will go there search that file and include that in your file that is a file inclusion which is handled which is managed by the c preprocessor that is why we call this file inclusion as preprocessor directive is that clear fine now that is why this program runs hmm? now suppose we are going to write uh, a program 
what program I can write. Uh, we'll write some functions. Uh, a program to find area and simple program we'll write because we want to understand how to split uh, the whole source code we have been writing in single program. So the program is going to take a lot of time. So concentrate on each step which I am following. Concentrate on the code as well as each step deliberately I am following. Right? So area and perimeter of a rectangle and and find area and circumference of a circle right fine so for that i will declare some variables in uh, length And bit right in area of suppose the big area and rec right i will declare variables as float circle area and circle circle right these many variables i have declared now I will take the input from the keyboard, take all input. So enter length of a rectangle. C and D and length. Enter bed of a rectangle CD and breadth enter enter radius of a circle. F or C and D and radius. That's all. Now I will call functions rake area is equal to um, area rectangle. I will send link and Right, I will uh, rec perimeter is equal to peri rectangle length and breadth. So I will call four functions circle area is equal to area circle radius and changing radius and uh, circle circumference is equal to again uh, area circum circle 
right? Yes, that's it. Now, till date, till date, we have been writing all these functions below this main function, but this is not the way C program or C project is developed in the real world. Okay, because many functions are pre-written and you just call them. One thing. Second thing, when you even though some so nobody is using going to use them, you should not put everything in one file. The project has to be divided into modules. So there will be uh, uh, this I will come to later, later onwards. This also I will come to later onwards, right? So this is how multi-file project is done. On the left hand side, there is uh, there is one file which is source file dot c file which contains main function, right? And from that main function, you are going to call some functions, right? So all these functions will be uh, are uh, will be having two parts: one function prototypes and another function definitions, right? Same way as stdio.h works. stdio.h doesn't contain printf function; it contains just prototype of printf function. Similarly, we will be having my functions dot h as a header file in which we will write prototypes of all functions of your functions okay so third box which is depicted as my functions dot c will contain definition of functions and my functions dot h will contain prototypes or even macros right all this stuff will be there inside the dot h file header file okay so now the first task is to create a header file so how to create that file i hope you are watching this carefully so go to the file in each id the same process is there new okay till that we are creating project but project already we have created so we'll go to the file okay file option is there select that okay and there since we are in the current directory files will be automatically created in the same directory right and you create the c there is option c c plus plus header file so create that okay right give here path okay so automatically Path, path is there because we are in the current directory and give here uh, some header file name okay so i will give header file name as uh, you can give any name meaningful name shape info right shape info because we are considering about the shape rectangle and circle so i am giving shape info you can give any name right now here this is called a header guard this is automatically created by the id that is the use of id because i have told you id is just the set of tools okay each id has got a different way of creating header guard okay what is the header guard i will come to that right what is it is header guard both this debug as well as release because release where it is not going to be useful for us because release is usually uh, when you work in the company okay we usually create the uh, project in a debug mode because we want to see that everything happens and how it happens and all these things yeah? there is check marks add these files to active projects okay so don't uh, uh, touch that this is important but how it is important i will come to that then finish this okay so this header file is created right and folder is separate here see here this is a source file and this is a header file okay now we are into this file okay now what is this for time being ignore this okay now we will write all our prototypes and everything here so what 
copy paste directly so that no mistakes are there right i will copy this whole part usually this is where copy paste is preferred right i hope everything is visible to you and write that between these two preprocessor directives and this preprocessor directive right right in between that so write this right i'll explain everything how does it work and all these things right uh this function returns integer this function is going to return integer this function is going to return float earlier we were writing this at the top of the main function right now but we are now dividing that program so right here this thing at the same time we need a macro so uh, for the pi value so hash define uh, pi right any value 3.14 by 6 i don't know but i like this 3.14 that's it right so i included the macro as well huh? now uh, once you start splitting the program instead of save start using save everything so all files will be saved in one single key choose this option c c++ source file so these will be source files right now here in the same folder we are going to create so i will write circle right circle dot c same here finish it right so there will be one more dot c or circle dot c right so again copy this both things and paste here right and here this is not required right because it is a prototype in comma int right it int comma int here it is a float is required because these are prototypes float is required actually i forgot that save it then come to the circle dot c since it is a function we don't need semicolons right right here function definition now i will write directly the uh, code for finding the area of a circle right so area of the circle is uh, 3.14 pi return 3.14 into here you need to write formal argument so int suppose r right so r into r right here also i will write r int r and return 2 into uh, 3.14 into R. right this is the circle dot c uh, i will create another file i'll save this first and create another file again that will be a c c plus plus source file c here i will give a name as a rectangle right Okay, sorry, this is not valid. We have to go there and leave it. Rectangle. Okay. So one more file is created, and you can see here it is there, right? Now copy this. Copying is important because you can make a mistake here. 
right? A mistake is bound to happen. Real ID int length and int breadth, right? And area is return L into B, right? And perimeter again L and B. Return L uh, two into L plus B. Done. Okay. So all definitions we have done. Now here uh, we have used first of all these functions are written here, right? These functions are written here, and three point fourteen. No, we should use as the this thing. What? Uh, what I can say? Um, macro, right? But where is that macro? Macro is here. Okay, so include that file here. And prototypes are also there, no? Prototypes are also there in this. So now here you will write hash include but now you are you have created your header file and you are going to include here in your source file right so that's why we will not use that place then so this is a command to the preprocessor that search for shape info dot h file in the current directory because it is available in the current directory that's why we put in the double quotes include the same file and once you include you can write here file right file okay. at the same time include this file the rectangle as well right okay fine now Now what is required is you are calling all these four functions which are not available in the same file, right? So what you will do now? These function prototypes are available in the shape info dot h. So you will include this file here. I will write hash include shape info dot h. But that so what does the preprocessor will do preprocessor will include this file okay now since you have put that double quotes it will search in the current directory and include that file so along with these two files which are header files for the library this is your own header file which will be also included where here right now the question is that why this header guard header guard is used so that this uh, this is not included or whatever is there in other file this is not included in this file multiple times right because if it is included multiple times it will give error as multiple definitions of or multiple declarations of this function or a variable or kind of that right so this is called a header guard so what does this header guard say if not defined if n def if not defined what if not defined if this is not defined then define this and include this right and this is the end of it now once this is included once this is included this file may be included in some other file and there is a one single file will be recursively added to main function okay like a adds b 
B file, right? And C adds B file or B adds C file, and that everything is added into the then it will be a multiple inclusion. Okay. So once first time, first time when this is added, since this is not defined because this is defined nowhere. Very next statement will be preprocessor pre will take into account. It will define this. Once it is defined, okay, this will be added into that file, and this is a hash end if, right? End of if. Next time, suppose it comes again for adding this file, same file, adding this same file. Now this has been defined, right? So what happens? This works. This works only when it is not defined. The work first time this is a preprocess, first time this is added, since this has been defined, okay, this whole is ignored, okay, not added second time or multiple times. Enter length of a rectangle 6, enter breadth of a rectangle 5, enter radius 8, that's it. You get everything, right? Some small mistake is there. The circumference of a circle zero point two percent zero point two f, right? So see here, this is your source code, right? This is a header file where you have declared all prototypes of functions. This is your separate file exclusively for circle. This is your separate file for exclusively for rectangle. And this way you can create your own library, right? Header file as well as source file for this function. So this way, in the real world, this OBJ which of this file and this file is created right it is linked to the main function and source file is not given because source file is your proprietary right you are not going to give this source code whatever you have written okay whatever this is just the simple code anybody can return okay i mean formulas are not out of the world but there are many codes which you develop and why you want to show it to them you just give the header file that's it you compile these two files create obj's okay and link them that's it and give these dot obj files these dot obj files will be and you will give this file because this is the file which will help the user of the your functions to call functions okay because uh, a, a user uh, here user means not uh, the application user user is somebody is using your functions okay by calling them not rewriting them okay so in that case you need to give the prototype so once you give the prototypes he can call the functions okay on the basis because on the basis of function prototype only right he can call the function. Otherwise, he doesn't know what is the return type of function, how many arguments you are sending, what is the name of the function, this, that. So everything will be available in the header file. Uh, have you understood uh, how to divide the program into multiple files? I will, I will uh, just explain it again. Uh, this is the main program. You have called a few functions right from the main program the prototype of all these functions have been written in another header file that is uh, shape info dot h you can give any name and note that i have divided source code for circle and rectangle separately okay so in the future when you are going to write your programs okay 
divide this program in this fashion into multiple files okay that is the best way to now this is a in a real sense this is the project okay now if i save all this thing and go to the project directory you can see okay there is a bin and obj folder system folders this is a circle.c so source code right this is a project file right this is dependency file okay it is created internally right because one file i mean files are dependent on each other right then this is a main.c circle.c rectangle.c and this is a header file so it clearly shows you the type file folder file folder right this is a c source file okay which includes function definitions of circle related information this is our project file right the whole project file then this is the dependency file this is a main file main.c and this is a rectangle.c and this is the shape info.c okay somewhere inside bin we will find our executable file so this is the executable file executable file is always created in the debug folder inside the bin directory of that project so each project will be having that bin directory and no um, this thing obj file so obj contains all these again debug and this basically obj file circle dot o main dot o and rectangle dot o so here you can see that we have written three source codes or uh, three uh, c files only for the dot c files right dot c files so there is a three dot c files are there so three obj files are created and this obj file is linked along with circle dot o and rectangle dot o at the linking time okay and this whole exe is created by the linker and that exe is stored in the where bin folder right and this exe is executable right this exe is executable and if i write here any macro right suppose uh, i am fine right there is no problem not necessary that shape info or these words are required over there okay that is not necessary the file will be compiled and executed there is no problem at all right but we should follow the standard right so whatever they have given let's follow that right on the linux system uh, in the linux if you are using gedit editor like that where id is not available gedit editor you have to and terminal window is there to run the program using the gcc command in that case you have to create that header file manually right so um, at that time you just need to write hash if not defined some uh, header guard and hash define the same thing and at the end hash end okay so for example this is just i am um, this is just i am uh, in the gedit data if you are it, you are not using id then you have to write hash if not defined right suppose some um, xyz then hash define xyz and hash end of if okay 
and you will write your code here. Here, that's it. Okay, this is basically in fact net netrosense. This is a header guard, right? Now, uh, uh, while writing programs in Linux environment using the gedit editor, you have to write manually. Since these are uh, programs. Now uh, here only in the same program I will show you. Uh, if the suppose what I can give. language right print tail low wire right now this is used when you write a big application and if you want to um, you you don't want uh, but certain part of the program not to be sent to the compiler, right? But in that case, you will comment that, right? When you comment that program, certain part of the program, uh, you will comment that so that that commented portion of the program will not go to the compiler for, uh, will not send to the compiler for compilation, right? But Nesting of comments is not possible. So the already code you have written, if it contains comments, and if you want to uh, ignore that part during program compilation, then you cannot comment that whole code because it contains again comments, right? In that case, you include this directory, right? Now this code will be executed only when you define this. So you can hash define, right? What is that language? Okay. The moment you write this, okay, this becomes activated. And if you remove this, right, this becomes deactivated. So this is not sent. So this is how this hash uh, if defs uh, is used. And counterpart of this is if not defined. Got that? Which we used here in the shape info. If def, if not def. That's it. Right? 